Uh, Mark, you gave me some bad news right before the show started. Uh, my understanding is he's highly questionable game time decision, which is the dreaded uh, I love three this. letter. I know. <laughs> Fantasy people hate that. And at tight end, we're looking at uh, Shockey, Scheffler, and Witten all probable. We already talked about Witten. He should be good to go after the bye week. Uh, Alex Smith questionable, and Heath Miller still out. Anyone I missed? I think All you right. got it. Those are the injury updates for you. 529-1450 is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Yeah, hey, guys. Uh, for the second year in a row, I've had to suffer through Steven Jackson's Poseidus issues that seemed to set in. Last year was six weeks for growing. Now it's five. My other running back is Marshawn Lynch. I wonder if you guys would, if you guys were the owner on the other uh, team, if you would do this trade. I offered him uh, Peyton Hillis and Steve Smith, and he would give me Michael Turner and uh, Greg Camarillo. And like I said, you have to take into mind that uh, Michael Turner is very inconsistent against good running, uh, you know, defenses. So, what do you guys think of that? You're basically offering Smith for Turner and uh, Camarillo, who's who's had a, a, a string of decent games for Miami. I'll be honest with you, I was the other owner, I turned it down. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Peyton, right. Peyton Hills is a non-factor. That's that's just uh, a, basically a throw-in to make it a two two for two, and it's just not right. it's just not worth it. And Turner is one of those guys that you know, if you're in a keeper league, he might be a keeper uh, next year. He's getting better and better, and the Falcons are getting better and better too. He's the third leading yeah. rusher in the league right now. So I mean, yeah. enough said. Yeah, five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. Thanks for the phone call. Oh, you got another question. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry, dude. Five two nine one four five zero. We do have a bunch more to get on, though. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football 101. Go ahead. Good morning. Morning. I've got a good uh, good problem this week. I've got Steve Smith, Anquan Bolden, and um, Roddy White as my receivers. I can only use two of them. Mm, wow, you do have a good problem. Makes you want to vomit. I've been fortunate this year. I'm leading my league. i uh, got Brian Westbrook and Willie Parker. Got Tony Romo back this week. I've had some injuries, and I've been lucky picking up guys, but I don't know who I should not, who I should sit with my receivers. Yeah, I'd go Bolden and Rowdy Rowdy myself, but I, I, I'd flip a coin, man. I, I mean, guess. you know, they're, I, they're all good matchups. Yeah, I, I look at the receivers. matchups, and and all all three guys have dynamite matchups. I they do, and all the three defenses are all in the, the bottom five of the league. Right. <laughs> so well, I, I think you go bold. I'm, I'm with Adam. I, I'd go bold and white, but you know Steve Smith. I wouldn't have a problem starting him, but I just for whatever yeah, reason, bold and white stick Detroit. out to me. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. you've got a great situation. Whatever yeah. you do, don't sit Anquan Bolden because when he plays, he catches Agreed. at least yeah. two touchdowns. I, I, that, that's how, that was my thinking. He's it was going to be either Steve Smith or Roddy White. So yeah, you're sitting yeah. pretty. Carolina's yeah. running games come on though too. They might not be passing as much. Uh, D'Angelo had a big game last week, so. I, but I think they're going to be what Jake DeLone was seven for twenty seven last week against. Oak. Right, yeah. I think he's going to come out kind of wanting to. Uh, Luckily, to I didn't uh, need his points. Yeah. So. Um, right, and Detroit's a good team to work on your game. Exactly. On. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All, All right. right. You guys got a good show. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Five two nine fourteen fifty is the phone number. Good morning. You're on Fantasy Football One Hundred and One. No, no one's there. All right. Uh, we've, we've, been, we've been through a lot of phone calls this morning, and we are just about out of time, and that's perfect. It's time for our studs, duds, and sleepers for the week. And, again, make sure you log on now to SportsRadio1450.com. You can always hear the show live there, but we will update the injury list and uh, get you all set for uh, kickoff tomorrow. And, again, again, already one game in the books in case you were uh, sleeping the past few days. Jets beat the Patriots on Thursday night. 34-31, Castle, Welker, uh, both stood out in that ball game, especially for me in my fantasy league. I'm already up 63 and a half to nothing in one of my leagues. Yeah. Attaboy. Eric likes that because I've beaten the you. top seed right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're all pulling for you, Adam. <laughs> and uh, Mark, he's in first place in uh, another league that I'm in, but who are your studs, duds, and sleepers for the week? Uh, Matt Ryan's my stud. He's 4-0 and at home this season, five TDs, no interceptions. They've played Denver, ranks 28th versus the pass, and they have given up eight TD passes in the last four road games. Dud Marion Barber. This is unbelievable. He's never rushed for more than 45 yards in a game in six meetings against the Redskins. Really? And has one TD. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, wow. sleeper. Jarius Norwood. Uh, Denver ranks 31st, giving up 5.1 yards a carry. Norwood, Grant, is the backup to uh, Turner, but Norwood only needs six or seven carries to get 70, 80 yards and bust the big one. Sure, sure. Plus, he's a sleeper. That's what it's all about. They don't probably catch a ball for 60 yards, but my stud for the week, and we'll just keep picking on Denver here. I like Michael Turner. <laughs> Um, to pretty much go wild. Like I said earlier, he's a third-leading rusher. I'm sure he'll find the end zone against Denver and probably be over 100 yards. Uh, my dud, 
is Kyle Orton making his return this week for the Bears, but they're going to Lambeau. It's a it's a tough place to go, period, and uh, a tough team to throw the ball against. So probably don't start Orton, but my sleeper, Tyler Thigpen, who we talked about earlier versus yeah, New baby. Orleans. Um, if, if you need quarterback help and he's sitting there, pick him up and plug Coastal him Coastal Carolina. Woo-hoo! Coastal I, I Carolina. That's all right. That's all right. I'm still going to keep it. I, I agree. That's my sleeper, too. Uh, Tyler Thigpen, I think Kansas City is going to throw the ball this week against New Orleans, and it's going to be one of those shootout games. Uh, my dud is uh, David Garrard. We talked about him a little bit earlier uh, today, but, you know, they're going up against Tennessee. Garrard has been bad the last couple of weeks, so uh, he is my dud and my stud, uh, even though he's probable. We also talked about him, too. He did pop up on the injury report with that concussion, but I'm going to go Frank Gore against the Rams. Uh, Rams can't stop anyone, and uh, I think Frisco's playing a little bit better. They played good against the Cardinals, uh, and Singletary's got those guys focused now. I think he's got their <laughs> attention, that's for sure. And I think uh, Frank Gore's going to have a big game in San Francisco against the Rams because uh, weather out there probably much uh, more favorable than it is here in the Midwest. They're probably just doing everything they can at San Francisco to not see him pull his pants down again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we're all hoping that never happens again. Uh, and hoping he doesn't go off either. I don't know if he's going to uh, stay as the head coach in San Francisco. I think he's going to need a couple more wins before that happens. But, he's a loony tune. Uh, oh, they need him, man. They need him. I need him. I need him to stay as head coach of the San Francisco 49ers. That, that is the funniest thing <laughs> I think I've ever you seen. Dude, dude you know, comes you. out. And he's yelling and screaming. Oh, it's great. Just for pure entertainment. Oh, it's just great. I think we should put him in Detroit. Is it some awful team. <laughs> every week we have good audio. No, he'll have a heart attack. You know? <laughs> or brain aneurysm. We don't need him in Detroit. No one wants to coach in Detroit. He'll I'll be butt naked in the locker room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, talk about a tangent. Yeah. Okay, Mike Singletary in his underwear again. 529-1450 is the phone number. Write it down. Put it in your cell phone. Give us a call next week in week 12. Another big week as far as you fantasy football leaguers are concerned. Thanks for listening to Fantasy Football 101. We'll be back with you next week between 8 and 9 right here on Sports Radio 1450. Stay tuned. Big SHG Bloomington game later on today. They'll start the coverage right around 10 o'clock. They'll be talking about it all morning, really. Sam's in next with the uh, yard sale. And if you uh, want Illini tickets, 502-1909 or 652-6483. There's some tickets available. Have a good one. We'll talk to you next week, guys. Good luck in your fantasy leagues. There's no talk of lemons at Green Hyundai Certified because you won't